Welcome, parents, teachers, friends, and most important, class of 2019. I know many of you might be wondering what I'm doing up here talking to you. Some might have never known anything about me until now, and some may even think I'm not qualified to be making a speech. So let me introduce myself real quick. Hi, I'm Vanessa. And just like all of you guys who are sitting in those chairs with caps and gowns, I'm a part of the graduating class of 2019. I thought I would want to go up and talk to my peers, so I studied mostly every commencement speech and realized they're all the same. I really wanted to make this speech to be light and funny, but I realized I have little to no humor, so I'm here to keep it real. I want to start off by thanking every parent and teacher, even the ones that never taught me. Without you guys, we would have no motivation to continue our education and we wouldn't have basic knowledge. Plus, let's face it, we would be running around crashing into walls, so thank you. We have those four years of high school that may or may not be kept into our minds. And for some, those four years were the toughest years of their lives. While others believe that they had a blast meeting new people and making unforgettable memories. And we all know that we believe that high school would be like every teenage movie where lunch would be a complete nightmare for the people who didn't feel as if they fit in. But as years pass, we've all become a big family. Just like every family, we have those annoying aunts who snitch on you, the sisters who always pick a fight, and the mothers who stay in touch to make sure you're alright. But once you graduate high school, you're expected to move on, grow up, and leave your old family to start your own. And with these memories that we have made the past four years together, we have learned so many things. We've received life lessons and we've taught them. For many of us, high school was where we went to our first party that wasn't supervised, or the first time we could stay past our bedtime. Each year was different. We can remember ninth grade as if it was yesterday. That was honestly the year of our first. We lost and gained friends. We were terrified of going to lunch without a friend by our side, and if they weren't there, we would just swipe through our phones to give the illusion that we were busy. Then came 10th grade. We had a couple things stabilized, but we would get caught up in drama somehow. That year was the year we don't really recall much. Nothing really stood out. Junior year, second to last year. The toughest year of those four. Everything seemed to be against you. Every tweet would be a I'm ready to drop out of high school and we would all seem to call ourselves suppressed. Then came senior year. The year we would all choose to stay on each other's good side and not care what others thought. We would get butterflies in our stomach thinking about this and now we're here. We look back to 14 and 15 year old us and realize how excited we were to leave this place and forget about the people we would see every single day. But here we are, at the end of the race. For us, Mayfair is not just a school, it's our home. A place we had when things at our house weren't so great. An area where we know we'd feel appreciated by our friends who we would see as siblings. But just like we gained memories, we also experienced heartbreak, anger, and even jealousy. But even then, if we were given the chance to redo those four years, I don't think anyone would accept the offer because everything happens for a reason. So this is the end. The time we have all been waiting for. And I just want to say one more thing. And I'll leave you to it. That being said, all I want to say is, I congratulate you, class of 2019, and I wish you all the best. Once a monsoon, always a monsoon.